It feels like every streaming service is charging us 10 bucks a month and the content wars are intensifying, not slowing down. But Amazon just released something for free if you have a Fire TV. Now this new thing has over 400 free channels for you and all you have to do is say this. Play Fire TV channels. What I was surprised by is that there's actually 400 channels here, but there's so much more content than 400 channels. So as I go into a category like movie and TV news, which I can do over here on the left hand side, or I can just start to scroll down all these different things. What you'll find are these short snippets that are so good. They're just little reports about things you care about. So it's not just 400 channels, but it's 400 channels plus all of these broken down snippets. So you can move through the content faster if you'd like, and you can move along through this category and see different clips. So I call that a true YouTube TV competitor, and it's all free for you. Now, I'm not in the US, and this is a US only service. What I did is I set up my Fire TV stick on a US Amazon account, which lots of you can do from lots of countries around the world. Now, don't tell Amazon and instead stick around here with me. I'm gonna show you some more features you'll wanna to add to your smart home. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and I'm gonna show you all the latest and greatest from the smart home industry. And a lot of new products came out at IFA 2023. That's a conference held in September in Berlin every year. So let's talk about a few of those. The company SwitchBot has always been focused on making things move with a little bit of battery power. And so a natural extension of that is a robot vacuum. Except they didn't just go and make a robot vacuum. They revealed what's called the S10, a robot vacuum that has your standard base, but also has secondary bases that connect into the plumbing in your home. That allows the vacuum to refill with fresh water, detergent, and to flush the dirty water, all using the battery power on the vacuum. Plus, they showcased a new smart humidifier that gets refilled by this little guy. That's like eight jobs in one little robot, and that's why you'll wanna add this one from SwitchBot. And speaking of things you'll wanna add, SwitchBot was kind enough to sponsor today's video. Now sitting up there is SwitchBot Curtain 3, which has an incredible new feature called Quiet Drift that you won't find anywhere else. Quiet Drift, as you can see, moves your curtains silently so you'll never notice them opening up early in the mornings or closing late at night. And with the newly redesigned solar panel 4 curtain 3, I'm never going to have to charge those curtains. Now I've had these for months now and they are fantastic. So check out the links below where you can get a rod version just like I have or a U-rail version and you can get a coupon code that'll take some money off. Now I'm sitting here next to a pretty boring ceiling light here in my kitchen, but smart kitchen lighting is about to get a pretty big upgrade from Acara. Their upcoming ceiling light will have two pretty big features. Now number one, they're gonna give you basic smart home lighting control with a light in the middle. And of course that's gonna be lighting customizable to your space, to your tastes. But around the device, is an addressable light strip. Not only will that give you a ton of effects, but it's also going to be used to display notifications for you from around your home. So for example, you know, we've got a smart lock right here from Acara, and that smart lock is one of the things you could be using whenever that's unlocked to be showing around your home. This is something I'm doing with other light strips, but if that was integrated into your kitchen light, that'd be great. And speaking of those smart locks, this is the Acara U100. It's my current choice for smart locks here in Canada. That's because it's incredibly feature rich and it gives you so many ways to access your home, share those access methods with friends and family on a permanent or a temporary basis. Everything from Apple Home Key to passcodes to physical keys, and everything in between. It's fantastic, but 
it is a Zigbee smart lock. Not that Zigbee is terrible, but the new U200 that was just announced by Akara is going to upgrade with that one benefit. It's called Matter Over Thread. So what that's going to give us is some additional options for integration. And that is a big benefit for a company that already gives us a lot of options, but I'm excited for this one. This one is finally released from Flick and it's called the Flick Twist. Now this is a push button smart home controller it comes with a dial too. And while this took much longer to come out than any of us expected, the wait was worth it with tons of options for control. Now you have a push button, so you can see those lights just went off. Uh, and then I have a double push. Okay, so I just changed those actually to a random color. Now I also have a twist function you can see we're just kind of moving through some different colors as I do that. And then the last function we have is a push and a twist. Now I've kind of set that up for a little bit of a different function with these, but you could do all of that with one button. And as you're twisting or you're push and twisting, you have the ability to add things like Sono speakers in the middle of your twist. You can change the volume at the same time as you're changing the lights. You can move blinds. There's so much you can do with the new Flick Twist. I think just about everyone's gonna wanna add this one to their home. Now we've seen wireless switches before and I have something very similar to this one in my kitchen from a company named AOTech, but there's a couple of things that are really specific about this new paddle Pico switch that is so important. Now first of all, you know, you're gonna find this in a number of new kits for sale from the team at uh, Cassetta by Lutron, but that's how you're gonna find this initially for sale. Of course, there are links below, but one of the really great things is this wireless switch sitting wherever I'd like in my home is controlling those lights. So what I have in my office is a Diva smart switch and it's been configured with this in a three-way control configuration. Now, the really interesting thing is, you can see it took it to 54%. Now, if I press that switch again, and then I close this and I reopen it, you see it's gone all the way to 100%. So this is controlling based on right here. You see this little physical switch? This is such a nice combination of smart switches that I think a lot of people are going to want to add this as a third, a fourth, a fifth switch, whatever, in their homes. And it doesn't just have to control one single device in your Lutron home, it can control up to 10 different things at the same time. Now let's get back to a couple of the upgrades that you already have in your smart home. These are some really interesting ones. Now most of the music synchronization features on light strips and smart lighting, it sucks. I don't find myself using it and even when I do, I'm not really enjoying it. Now Govee is about the only company that I find has put some good effort into that feature. They have a lot of different effects and honestly, some of them look pretty nice. However, if you have an M1 light strip from them, you can now customize your music synchronization effect. And when I tapped into this feature, I thought there would be you know, a couple of things I could do, but here we are with Govi again, kicking everybody else to the curb. This new feature does everything from different styles of movements to directions and even customization of the way the light spot appears. Then you can customize the size of the effect, the movement speed, and even how it switches between all of that. Plus you can apply things like a trail effect, and even in some cases, apply a background color to the rest of the strip. This new feature is wild, and it finally gives me a reason to use music synchronization. Now speaking of wild, here's how I trained uh, approximately 20 to $30 smart camera to recognize just about any situation in my home and then take a recording and send a notification of that situation. For myself, I thought it would be great if we could recognize that an oven was on. 
To set this up takes just a few minutes. Now, the first step is to get one of the three current cameras that Y supports. I have an OG here and I put uh, approximately $2 a month subscription on that camera to enable something called Smart Vision. And once you enable this, you go through a short setup process in their app to train your camera to understand the situation. It's basically take a couple pictures of the normal situation, so the oven off, and then take around five or more pictures of the abnormal situation, so the oven on. So I went through this process, trained my camera, and now I get notifications. The funny thing is, I could be notified of both situations, so I'd know if the oven was turned off and if the oven was turned off. And I think that you need to be a little bit careful to rely on something like this for safety because it's not perfect yet. But this is something, if you have a wise cam in your home today, you could train it to detect just about anything see how effective it is for you. This will start out seeming like it's about people who have and use Samsung smart things in their homes, but it's not about that. And it goes much further than I ever expected. Now, about a year and a half ago, I started talking about something called the Home Connectivity Alliance, which was announced by Samsung at one of their events. The Home Connectivity Alliance's goal is to make home appliances like fridges, ovens, washing machines, and even the HVAC systems work in any of the partner's apps. It's a standard of sorts and it's just about ready to roll out. Now what's great about this is we're going to see things like LG's appliances show up for control in Samsung SmartThings and vice versa. But this combines really well with another Samsung feature that was told to us by Jennifer over at The Verge when she visited IFA and visited with the folks at Samsung. There'll be a new Samsung food app coming out, which basically helps you to analyze the food you're eating through a picture and then get nutritional information. So you could go to a restaurant, snap a picture and get healthier options for you to create at home. But it also interfaces with a single Samsung appliance today and that allows you to transfer the settings for a recipe over to the oven and it doesn't seem all that exciting until you consider that the Home Connectivity Alliance will allow you to do that with all of those different appliances as they come into that standard. So the connected kitchen is actually just a few steps away. And you know, that's a great example of companies having to come together, work together, and it taking a long time. And in case you haven't noticed, voice assistants have taken some time to work together. In fact, the first true integration of two voice assistants just happened with these new speakers from JBL. These are called the JBL Authentics lineup. And this is a true collaboration between Amazon with their voice assistant and Google. And you know, for voice assistants, I think this makes a lot of sense. You don't necessarily want Amazon to give you all that general information, right? You're actually probably looking for that from Google. So it's great to see these two companies working together. I hope to bring in one of these speakers, test them out for you, let you know if that integration truly is seamless like it's been stated that it is. Although speaking of that, one of the biggest updates I get to give you this week is that Google has released 18 new routine options for you. And there are some pretty wild features in their app now. Many of your lights will now have an option to pulse sleep or wake. You can use your voice assistant to request that directly or in a lot of cases you can use those features in their routines. Plus things like door sensors are now available to start routines and you can even start routines based off of those sleep, wake or pulse features with your lights. Now here's the whole list from Google and I've started testing these and they are pretty good. This combines with that Google Home script editor that I showed you in a previous video to give you a lot of great routine or automation options for your home now. So maybe you don't need both of those voice assistants if you're relying on Amazon for routines today because now Google has maybe more options than Amazon. 
I've got my notes out because we're going to rapid fire through a bunch of news updates. Now you probably have a lot of these things in your home already and they got some great updates. Apple's HomePod can now listen for a number of detector sounds and send you a notification on that. Google Nest is bringing their old cameras and old devices into the Google Home app from the Nest app. They've started with the indoor camera, but we'll be rolling out more cameras and more devices into the Google Home app right away. Now, Samsung SmartThings has added the ability to add Matter Bridges into their app. This is just rolling out, but this is gonna mean you're gonna be able to bring in SwitchBot and Akara who have Matter Bridge features built into some of their hubs. With SwitchBot specifically, they've also added their lock and their bot into that Matter Bridge for sharing across. Plus, IR devices can be shared through that Matter Bridge with the SwitchBot application. Now what that means is you can control IR devices in Apple HomeKit through SwitchBot's hub. Today, you can get in-garage delivery from Amazon, Amazon Fresh, and Whole Foods markets. But they just added two additional options for the types of smart garage door openers. And this will actually allow me to automate a very terrible basic garage door opener in my home. You set this up through the Ring app as a connected device. And for a very long time, this was the only thread border router that Amazon sold. They have just added, and did not announce this at all, that the Echo Show 10 will now be a thread border router. So if you have either of these, you can now start bringing thread devices into Amazon's Miss A application. I recently tested out Amazon's new Echo Buds and I was blown away by the fact that those could automatically switch between two Bluetooth controllers, or in my case, two phones, or a phone and a Fire TV device. Actually, my Fire TV just turned on when I open these up. Now that's seamless and it's a fantastic integration, but it was only for me. And that's one of the problems that's being solved by what is called AuraCast. Now AuraCast is a piece of the Bluetooth LE audio specification that's just rolling out. What AuraCast allows is for many earbuds or Bluetooth devices to maintain a connection to a single device all of them at the same time. This means you and all of your family members could have your own Bluetooth earbuds in and be listening to a single television. Plus you could be all listening at different audio levels and even better, you could be listening in different languages or to different tracks of the same content. Now Samsung is putting this out in some of their more recent televisions right away. And this is gonna be a huge update for some of you in your home. And it might be an even bigger update down the line when we think about going to the movies or consuming content in public. But there are even more new features that you're gonna want in your home. And because all these companies are gearing up for the Christmas season, they are firing out these new features. So check out the video that's up there where you'll see an additional 28 new features, just like today's video that you'll wanna add. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, don't hate, automate.